can find its control unit, you can use it against the enemy. Okay, what's up everybody? This is the game virus also known as the G, 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 G virus and we're back at it again with more Let's play Resident Evil 3 Nemesis knife only never done it before with the knife and uh, Last episode we made it past Nemesis the first mandatory fight you got to do with Nemesis We made it past him without any problems literally without any problems first time we ever tried to take that guy on and we took that guy on uh. Fucking shit man Oh, this part's gonna frustrate the hell out of me. I can't get out of here without getting grabbed. Oh, it's not hard. It's like, it's right there before me. It's just, I keep screwing up. It's just bad camera angles. Oh, but we had to look up how to beat Nemesis. Because we already knew we weren't gonna be able to do it. We already knew it'd be very difficult. We already knew we, wouldn't, we, we weren't gonna be able to do it on our own. So we looked it up. Saw what we needed to do, had to go back and do some adjusting so that we got the nemesis we wanted to get. And then once we got that, we gave it, I believe it was two tries. And on the second try, we were able to do it. Which was a big shock. Didn't see that one coming. I was very happy about that. And now we're in control of Carlos. And we are having a fucking hell of a time just trying to get past two rooms right now. Without getting touched. Ugh. Why, why I'm having such problems with this part is beyond my, my, my comprehension. It's just really frustrating stuff. Stuff like this will make you break a controller. Fuck! There we go. Just needed to slow down a bit. <sighs> there we go. Got through those two rooms. It's like two videos of me trying to, like, the tail end of last video, I was trying to get past that, those two rooms. And then in the start of this one, I'm right back to failing. So, yeah, this place is crumbled apart. It's falling apart right before our eyes. <laughs> it's a total mess. We can't go back outside through the front door. Um, like I said before, the only parts that I'm really concerned about are the parts where I'll, uh, it's, oh shit. Well, you rarely see these model of zombies. Got the woman back there, this guy with the shirt on. Little classy looking zombies right there, you rarely see those models. That's pretty damn cool, I think they're like only in the clock tower. Well, these spiders are still hanging around. So the parts I'm worried about are the close quarters parts. Where we're going to be, um, with not a lot of room to move around and they're gonna throw, like, a lot of enemies at us at once. It's typically when we hop in and off the elevator that we could see those, those issues. Um, it's just really a bunch of zombies that I'm worried about. And the hunters, too. They're gonna throw, like, three hunters to me. As soon as I get off the elevator on one floor, there's gonna be a whole bunch of hunters running around. That's gonna be tricky. And there's gonna be a time when I'm gonna get off the elevator and there's gonna be, like, 30 zombies right in front of my face. I'm able to do dodging like that smoothly, cleanly, without any effort, but those two rooms were giving me a problem. So you can understand how frustration we creep in, and you might break your controller with that. That's usually how it happens. On something where you can't believe that you're having problems with, or something that you know you shouldn't be having problems with, and you keep having problems with it, it'll make you break your controller. It'll make you rage. Oh, it's gonna be Hunter right here, as a matter of fact. I need to take off. Damn, I love Resident Evil 3. It's cool as fuck. A hunter just lops his random zombie's head off. It's good to see that stuff. I like to see, like, the enemies get, kind of get some, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Crossfire? Get hit in the crossfire? I love seeing that. Whenever a game doesn't have that, it always disappoints me. Like, games where you have, a, where, you, where you fight a boss and they have lesser enemies around you, and if that boss is swinging and it misses you, and it looks like it should have hit the enemies and nothing happens, I hate that shit. They should be able to get nailed just as much as you should be able to get nailed. It's like, I love it when Nemesis runs around and he's trying to swing at you and he can accidentally hit, hit the zombies. And he can accidentally blow the zombies up. I love seeing that. It's a thing of beauty. My ink ribbons don't go over, do they? With that being said, I should probably save. I don't think my ink ribbons, um... Translate over to Jill's, so I can save as much as I want. I 
just kind of did a lot of dodging on a part that was giving me trouble at that, so I should probably go ahead and do some saving. Alright, I don't think we really need to worry about using up too many ink ribbons for Carlos. Because I don't think any of the stuff I collect with Carlos goes over to jail at all. I don't know why I thought there was going to be a, like, a single zombie in here. I feel like I've played this particular area a lot. I have a current playthrough of Outbreak going on at the same time, and I feel like I've been in this area a lot. I think the reason why I thought they'd be a, they, there, there would be a single zombie in here is because of Outbreak. There's a single zombie in here. Or maybe one or two. So that's pretty cool. We get to see the original hospital. There's some donuts right there. We get to see the original hospital and the remade hospital with Outbreak's graphics. This time Jim, George, Cindy, and Kevin and David and them, they're not around and Mark. This is just Carlos and Jill. I think they've ran through, if Outbreak is canon, I think they've ran through this place already. I think Jill and Carlos get here after the fact. That is if Outbreak is canon. I still don't have an answer on that one. I still don't know. <laughs> look, at look at how Carlos is standing. I've never seen him. That That's the Chris stance right there. From Chris Redfield from Resident Evil 1. That's how he stands. That's how he stood when he was idle. Let's take a look at it. Yeah. Except he's not tapping his foot. But that's much like how Chris stood in the original Resident Evil. I missed the original Resident Evil. I haven't played that in a long time. I gotta stream that one time. Alright, which floor should I go to first? Most definitely the fourth. So this could be a, a, a big part right here. I'm glad I saved. I'm glad I remembered to save. I have not been remembering to save that much. I've been catching myself, but the fact that I've come close to not remembering is is, prob is, is troublesome, problematic. Let's go check out the data room. Don't shoot me! No! Nikolai, you're still alive. You saw what happened. I heard it. What's going on? I'm one of the supervisors. That's all you need to know. Wait! That's hilarious. Blew him right out of the building. I wonder... This is the fourth floor, so Nikolai is most definitely dead. You know, we're four flo floors up. Four stories. That man is most definitely dead, unless he had a parachute hidden in there somehow. It's too dark to see anything outside. Nikolai. Nikolai's hard to kill. I think, canon-wise, Nikolai survives all this. I don't know where I saw or read that. I think they, whoever, wherever I read that could have been wrong. I always thought Nikolai died. I know there's a, a, a way, a, a scenario where Nikolai gets attacked by a nemesis and you see his dead body up there, but I don't know if that's canon. Resident Evil is notorious for that, for having scenes in a game that aren't necessarily considered canon, but they like to have multiple paths and multiple outcomes. Which I don't mind that, just as long as you tell us which one is the official one. And don't tell us right away either. Let us just wonder about it. Let us find out in the sequel. Oh, well, all right. Two five three, two fifty three, and where is? I don't want to get grabbed here. It's over there. I'm not even sure how this puzzle works. I'm not sure I remember. It has to be put in the same spot or the opposite spot that it was in the room before it. Guess we're gonna find out. I don't want to get electrocuted though. Just, just, just try to put it in the same spot. It would make sense that you would have to replicate what you saw in the previous room. So let's go ahead and do that. Come on, Carlos. 
We got a pretty lady to save. We can't take our time here. No, it's supposed to be the opposite, I guess. Okay. Uh, so that's what I couldn't, I wasn't sure about. If it needs to be the same or the opposite. And I'll always forget for the stupid ass part right here. Shock me. Some some good old shock therapy there for Carlos. Not oh, damn you, Carlos. Listen to me. Obey my thumbs. I'm really starting to get nervous though. I keep I keep like in the back of my head I'm thinking about man, when I get ambushed by all those zombies. It's supposed to be the opposite end that you see it in. Now the code. Shit, I forgot the code. Uh, uh. Oh, what's the code? It's two six. No, two fifty. Thirty-five. Fifty-three. Oh shit, it's wrong. Oh no, that's right. <laughs> it just sat there for a second. It played with my emotions. Like it didn't want to open for me. You got it right, but I don't want to open. Damn, I only have one first aid spray. I'm about to use that up right now when I get to that basement floor. Thank God there's no leech monsters here. I guess the outbreak crew took care of all of them. Is there herbs in I think there's herbs in here. But I definitely don't want to try to get them. It's not worth it. They didn't catch my eye. Maybe there's not. I think the herbs can be in one of two places. Either way, here we go, guys. <laughs> this is gonna be fucked up. Not much I could do. I definitely can't fight all these zombies off. <laughs> Just fucking run. And take the damage. Or you can use the dodge mechanic by accident and get out of there with just one grab. Perfect! Whoa, oh boy, luck is on my side for this playthrough. Oh, shit, Resident Evil 3 is being kind. It's returning the- oh, shit. <gasps> Ooh! I think there's... Oh! There's herbs somewhere in here. But shit's too crazy right now for me to worry myself about that. Let me see if I can remember this. Hey now, those cute little things, so cute, cute little creatures. I, I'm almost certain this is burned into my memory. Let's see if I'm right. Let me go below. So, let's see if I get this right. This is burned into my memory forever and ever. That, that's it. Oh, I guess not. Let's see. I guess I was wrong. Maybe it's the first one. I know it's something like this. Watch. I think I got it. It's, it's A. Yep. Burn into my memory forever. I know it was one of them down there that was flipped downward. Forever carved into my brain. No Resident Evil protagonists are always mixing up some type of vaccines. I wasn't trying to use it, I was trying to check it actually. If you'll excuse me, vaccine that is effective against the virus infection. Alright, now we gotta get the hell out of here. I've had enough of these guys. I had to see these fuckers in Outbreak. some damage because I screwed up on the controls but it's all right I think there's I think there was herbs in that room looks like I'm gonna have to try to get through this without any extra health just take this damage real quick good shit all right first things first let's heal Oh. 
Now, here, 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 here lies the second trial. If I can get past this next part, we're golden. I have to uh, get past these hunters. There's going to be a bunch of hunters ambushing me. Maybe, maybe not. I think I'm going to get hunters. Yep. Orange caution. Oh! oh! Fuck, he went for my head, too. Leapt from clear across the room to get at my head. Oh, I guess I can heal now. Just go ahead and heal. We did pretty good, man. I was really worried about those parts. I was almost certain I was going to die. But no, I held it together. Now, from here on, it's just clear sailing. I just got to get back to jail. Nemesis will be after me, will be on my ass, hunting me down. But it's all good. Matter of fact, there's going to be a hunter that's going to try to get one last hit on me. Yeah, he didn't even take off after us yet. Too quick. All right, Carlos, man, it looks like we pulled it off. I'm proud of you, buddy. Carlos, the demolition man. Talk about a close call. Alright, now all we have to do, there should be, there could be worms or zombies or some type of shit in here, I'm not sure. It's gonna be an enemy in here. Several of them, actually. But I don't think they'll pose much of an issue. Oh, no, zombies! I love these zombies. All these girls zombies right here. Dressed up for a, for a, for a, for a dinner. For a late night dinner or something like that, they got their uh, they got their dinner dresses on. They, they, I swear they don't use those models enough. Those models only appear in this clock tower area. It's a fucking waste. <gasps> I, would, I would love to have seen those zombies within the city and stuff like that, or at least more throughout the clock tower area. Really, those those girls right there, those female zombie models right there, you really only see them in that section right there if you're lucky and it's random in that section where the where the ball puzzle is that's the only time you see them and, it, and it's random if you see them too that could have been worms instead of zo uh, free zombie females chewing on his body I think it was chewing on a male body too they're they're, they're feminist zombies <laughs> they're they're munching on a dude Carlos just go nope no you don't we're just gonna take off I don't think there's still zombies in here like there were before. I think they take them away. Yeah, they take them away. Because Nemesis is about to be chasing us. So they take him away. Take them away. So I don't have to fight through them too. Mm-hmm, right on me. Easy as pie. Now back to Jill. Where were we? Let's get back to Jill. Uh, let's see. I think if I put these ink ribbons in there, they're not gonna translate to Jill. I'm almost certain of it, but I'll throw it in there anyways. It's not gonna transfer. This is material for Carlos only. Hey! Are you okay? Yes. Barely. What's going on? A whole bunch no of stuff. Way. That monster just doesn't give up. Nope. What? I thought we killed that thing. Knifed him to death. No, it's been waiting for you. He's playing with us. Carlos, do you think that it's unstoppable? No, I don't think so. I'm sorry, Jill, but I've got to go take care of a few things. Oh, and bad news. Nikolai is still alive. Everyone's still alive. Nikolai. Both of those bastards won't die. Yes. Especially Nemesis. I, I mean, if you're only going to try to fight him with the knife, of course he's going to survive. Remember, don't trust him. All right, well. Oh, two, two ink ribbons. And I got three, and oh, and I got two, two in the, two in the uh, item box. Let's see how many healing items I have. One, two, three, four, five. Only five. I used up a lot on that nemesis fight. Oh boy. <laughs> well, 
That's gonna do it for this episode, guys. Man, that, that Carlos bit wasn't as taxing as I expected. Short and sweet, that's how I like it. Let's, let's hope things continue that way. We, I thought I'd definitely be hitting roadblocks, but things have been going sweet for me so far, guys. I'm so happy. Very, very happy. So I'm gonna go ahead and save over the machinery room save. And when I get back, Nemesis will be chasing me down, but I don't care, because I'm gonna get the hell up on out of here. It's gonna be a lot more zombie dodging. And then, we should be going up against that worm. Now, this is the only other boss besides Nemesis that I'm worried about. I don't know how at all I'm going to take down that worm with just this bad boy here. I haven't the slightest idea what I'm going to do, but we'll get to that road when we get there. Very close. I might even be able to get there before this video, before the next video is done. Maybe in a video and a half, but I hope to see you there for that. Hope to see you there so you can see what I'm going to do against that worm creature. It's hard to beat that thing the way you want to with weapons. You know? It's going to be hard to beat him with just this thing. This is just this weak little dagger. I love the way she holds it. But if you liked the video, go ahead and like it. If you want more, go ahead and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next episode. Thank you for commenting, liking, <clears throat> and watching. This is the Game Virus. Thank you for watching. Later.